Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for inviting me. So tell me about yourself. What is it that you exactly do? Um, I'm into bioinformatics. So I work at this place um, called MRSN. Uh, it's at Walter Reed Army Institute of Research. And um, so we do, we, so ours is a surveillance and a repository for antibiotic resistant bacteria. So we get samples from all over US, all over the world where you have US um, armed forces. And uh, we are basically detecting what kind of antibiotic resistant bacteria are uh, out there. And uh, we sequence them and we look at the genes and we kind of get a sense of what's going on, how the resistance is being built up in these bacteria. That's really interesting. So what exactly inspired you to get into STEM? Early on, I was fascinated with science, right from when we were kids. I can say a lot of factors, not just one thing, mm -hmm. probably having like really good teachers, reading good books, and being curious out there, going out. Um, so a lot of things like that drew me into science. So what would you say has been your biggest challenge so far? Every day <laughs> is a challenge at work. <laughs> um, every, yeah, that's true. Like every day I go to work, it's like a riddle is waiting for me. Um, mm -hmm. Because you're always solving problems. Yeah, yeah. it's like you, you go there, you're like, okay, you have these samples from hospitals or some, some, it can be either like one patient, he came in so many times, he's been treated, what's going on, the antibiotics not working. Then you look at like the genes that the genome has and you're like, oh, he has all these resistant genes, that's why he's not responding to this or something. So, and then also like the, the process of like um, assembling the genomes and putting things together, it's like a big jigsaw puzzle. And so there, there are methods out there, sometimes it's like new, no one has seen this. So every day is a challenge, every day you're like learning something, doing stuff. So I, I cannot pinpoint at one day <laughs> that like the biggest challenge, but every day is a challenge, and that's what I like about my work. That's a really good mindset. So on a completely different track, uh, what are some hobbies that you have? What do you like to do outside of work? Uh, I have a, a huge range where it can go from like adventure sports, skydiving, scuba diving, to watching cooking shows at <laughs> home and baking with my kids. I enjoy hiking. Um, I love sports. I play tennis, basketball. That's really cool. So uh, have you ever noticed gender disparity in your field and how do you deal Not with it? Not at all. Actually, I, I've been very fortunate. I've never seen that happen at work. And um, I've actually had really good mentors who are women in like leadership. That's good. So what advice would you give to younger girls out there who are trying to get into STEM? First thing, enjoy your schooling, um, have fun. Um, don't, don't get stressed or don't, don't think too much. Just enjoy what you love to do, enjoy your school time. Um, and when you do get interested, be sincere in your efforts. Um, and remember science is not like, it is very interdisciplinary. Like people tend to think that, oh, I do biology, I do computer science, I do this. But then when you go up in your career, you realize it's just like people coming together. Like I work with pure software engineers, I work with doctors, I work with uh, computer engineers, uh, database guys, or then I work with like physicists, and then I also work with like biostatisticians, people in mathematics. So it's all interdisciplinary. So it's very important you do, you learn every subject. Like you get the basics of it good. Your foundation has to be good. So. Don't think, oh, I'm only good in science, I'm just gonna do this. No, you need to have all your bases covered. And whenever you do something, do it sincerely, whatever little thing. So, and so spread along, like read everything and keep up with like the current things going on. There's so much to keep up. I keep learning every day, I keep reading every day and there are like new technologies coming up. So keep yourself current and be sincere in efforts and end of the day, have fun. That's like the biggest thing. Thank Great. you. Thank you so much. Thank you.